everyone. Welcome back to Ebony with Genghis. Wow, do we have a doozy for you today. Breaking news, still uh, being unfolding, so I'll probably do a follow-up tomorrow. But what we're looking at here is pink gems. You could purchase these in Ebony instead of buying a pack. If you're going to buy in the game, use a, use a uh, legitimate buyer, not a pack loader. Use a store like the Amazon App Store. Get the largest discounts around. How to do that is in the description to my video. Now, let's get to this. So these are pink gems that are only available in certain countries. In this case, this is the Japanese language. So if you change your language on your game to Japanese, you'll buy pink gems instead of packs. Some games do this, and Ebony does it in certain countries. Why? Because certain countries have they, they regulate video games and purchases, and they see it as gambling. So, Ebony can't sell a 99 pack that has gambling, like, you know, random generals, random other stuff. So, instead, they sell this. So, pretend you go on and you want to buy the 99 pack. You would deposit $100 into your Ebony account, and they'd give you a certain amount of gems that would buy a 99 pack. So, then you'd go into the area where the packs are, and you'd use the gems you bought, the pink gems. Anyways, people were getting these pink gems. There was a glitch and it was costing them about 10 cents, I think it was, or maybe a dollar for a 99 pack. Loaders, pack loaders, which is illegal and not legitimate way of purchasing in the game, were offering full cake, $2,000 worth to players for $400 for quite a while now. And they were probably using this style to do it. I have so many different th feelings on this. You know, pack loading is illegal and should not be allowed when it's stolen credit cards and that sort of stuff. This pink gem glitch, it's kind of Ebony's fault. Like, they had a gold glitch months ago where Ebony accidentally offered packs that sold gold for like a dollar. They were selling 99 packs for a dollar. They never did anything about it. Ebony also had glitches where when they first uh, opened up the extended level of the regular academy to have more debuffs, free speed ups on it for a few hours. They never did anything about it. But this time, I guess they said, you know what? People are spending $30,000 on their historic cities or uh, subs and $12,000 and nope. This has gone too far. And Ebony, maybe they went too far. There's going to be a lot of people quitting. You're probably going to see a lot of K40s for sale. It could actually be a good buying opportunity for people, right? Because you might get a max tech, 230 mil tech K40 for $1,000. But it'll have no troops from T11 up. Let's get into it. So let's get into some of these punishments. Basically, Ebony went in and wiped out everyone's inventory and T11... 12, 13, 14, 15 troops. They left them with T1 to 10. I don't know why. Um, some people are saying, I uh, only did this one time and I got par punished really harshly. And I agree with them. Like I heard about this glitch and I was tempted. I was like 400 bucks for a cake, but I didn't do it. I've never made an illegal purchase in Ebony. I've always said it's illegal and there's risks involved. But up until recently, Ebony's never done anything about it. So I see why people would do it. Uh, more about that in the future of this video. So let's look at this. This is an image that was going around in the last couple of weeks of pack loaders. Hey, I got a buddy who found a new deal for pack loading. If you are interested, price is $30 a pack. Loader loads pink gems, and these are the following offers. And you can look at these. Buy the 100, 100 packs for $25. Buy 500 packs for 20 bucks. If you're interested, let me know. So yeah, so this has been going around. Look at this, King Sing. There had been rumors for a long time, I did not subscribe to this, that he works for Ebony. Well, I guess that rumor is gone because he was 65 billion this morning and now he's 23 billion. So all his T11 to 15 are gone. I'm gonna say that I actually feel kind of bad for Sing and RSP because I know that RSP, they participated in the coin strike for the most part. And they did not do illegal purchases and pack loading and that sort of stuff. And they felt compelled to do it because 
every single one of their competitors was doing and they're pulling ahead and despite the hard work and skill that RSP has, uh, it just isn't enough against money or fake money. I do feel bad for RSP. Like, you know, I, I'm, I'm very happy that everyone who's cheating, that this is happening because my money obviously did not go as far as it should against these people. But I feel bad, not just for Singh, I feel bad for anybody who did this for the first time. Because Ebony didn't seem to uh, separate punishments. They didn't seem to say, well, you did it pack loaded just this time. You've been pack loading for three years. They just said, everybody screw you, here it is. And I don't think that's uh, fair either, a unilateral punishment across the board. Uh, and, I, and I also think, like I said earlier, this is a glitch, not pack loading. So it's kind of Ebony's fault. I don't think that Ebony should really punish people for it. I would feel better if Ebony just said, you know what, we've identified the cheaters or the people who took advantage of the glitch. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna give massive rewards to everyone in Ebony, but not those accounts. We're gonna even the playing field. That's what I wish they would do. But now they're just gonna have lots of people leave. So Viper, minus 60 billion. Hammer, minus 53. LWZ, Boss, Mountain, Sari. Uh, diff lots of rumors about Sari is that his RSP account apparently has a couple other big accounts on other servers. So I'm not sure which one lost 25. This is rumored to be uh, uh, I can't remember. Was it? It's not BK. This is rumored to be. It's uh, Ginster. This is rumored that it's Ginster's account. Seven thirty zeroed. It's not confirmed. So I don't know. So Kingster. I to be honest, I'm not too familiar if Kingster is Ginster. Huntress, the uh, leader of server 68, my old server, 30 to three. Uh, I will say that, uh, you know, Neff is a very good alliance also, and they probably fall a little bit in the area of RSP of legitimate coining for a long time and forced to keep up. Look at all these other ones. Hammer cause 91 to 35 I saw him at. I got an image of it in a little bit. These are big, big drops. Virus, 54 to six, Viper. You know, I'm gonna be writing a letter to customer support and you guys should also complaining, I want rewards. Like I see some names on here who are in the all-star finals above me and I finished, I think it was 105, just missing the finals. And I complained about lag and they never gave it to me. Well now, like Ebony is saying these people cheated. So like, don't I move up a spot? Like in the Olympics, if someone gets caught for steroids, you move up, even if it's two years later, you get a medal eventually if all those people get some. So here's an image of a top player who was wiped. And you can see they have no T11, 12, 13, 14, 15 troops. All they have left is 10 down. Again, no idea how Evany decided this was the fair way to do it. Here is an image. So someone said on their server, <laughs> people are losing power. Is it a, bu is it a bug? Are they, hitting, are they hitting barbarians and dying? So if you look here, there's servers that are minus 3.7 billion power. Here's the close up of it. So in troop training day, in the Monarch events, some servers are in the negatives. Here is Oliver, 680 million. I think he was like a 27 billion player. 5.9, this is Viper. He was, I, I don't know, what did it say in the other image? A lot. 330, this is uh, Mogi in RSP. I don't know how big he was, but I'm just gonna guess he was probably around 28 billion. This is, we've seen this before from Ebony. You need to pay us $2,400 or everything's gonna be a permanent reduction. I heard one person was asked $97,000. And here's Hammer Cause, so it did see him down to 35 billion. Man, some alliances were losing like 200 billion power today. Imagine they're in your Shalons matchup, imagine facing someone in battlefield 
and they are 20 billion in power, but no T11 plus troops. Larhalt, here's boss, 780 million. So it, it, one thing that I will say is a little inconsistent. It seems some people got the punishment of losing T11 to 15, and some people lost everything. So I don't know how they decided who cheated enough that they warranted just being completely wiped, who only lost the upper layers. But those people aren't going to be able to rebuild for a long time because they don't have gold, <laughs> right? Like you need gold for T14 and 15. At least they're done their tech probably. But I think you're going to see a lot of people just walking away from this game. Like people spend way too much money to be treated like this. Like, it's a good reminder to people that the hundreds of thousands of dollars you spend on this game could be gone just like that because Ebony says, nah. And what, what's your repercussion? Like, what, you know, or sorry, what's your uh, response to that? Like, what leverage do you really have against Ebony to beg and complain for your stuff back? I think, uh, you know, I, I always go back to one, of, one video that Singh had a long time ago where he basically said every purchase you make in the game you should just think like does that thousand dollars do i get a thousand dollars of entertainment from this game or could i play this game only spending five dollars or ten dollars and have just as much fun so i don't know i think you're gonna see ebony's revenue drop a lot but let's see what happens story is still unraveling so like subscribe leave a comment